So uh, let's move on to number nine, which is the operating expense ratio. Um, so this is a me measure essentially of profitability. Um, the operating expense ratio tells you how well you're controlling expenses relative to your income. So you take all your operating expenses, uh, less depreciation, and divide them by operating income to get your OER. Um, it's one of the few ratios used by investors that includes depreciation, um, which makes it more inclusive of all, all your property costs. So a lower OER means that you've minimized expenses relative to revenue. If your OER has been rising over time, it could indicate some expense issues. Um, perhaps annual rent increases haven't matched uh, your expense increases, um, or your management company isn't keeping up with routine maintenance which can lead to more serious problems down the road, obviously. Um, so here's an example uh, that uh, Thomas Costelli of the real estate uh, CPA firm gave us that I really like. So assume an investor owns four properties um, in the same market, but they're all different sizes. So duplexes, maybe a small apartment building, some condo, single family home. Um, you, re you receive a profit and loss statement, P&L statement from your accountant for each property. So when you take a look at the report, you see these uh, four uh, totals of operating expenses, uh, expenses for each property. So property A, B, C, and D, um, each with how much, uh, how much the operating expenses are for uh, that particular period. Um, since all these properties are different sizes, this, this type of information doesn't really tell you much. Um, it just says, okay, well, property D is higher, um, but there's no real way to tell exactly what, uh, uh, what's going on behind the scenes. So if you were to look at the operating expense ratio, um, you divide a property's operating expense by its gross operating income. Um, and instead, you look at that instead of the raw operating expense figure, figures that you get from the P&L, uh, you discover the following, property A, B, C, and D. Those are the OERs for those properties. Um, this, this actually gives you actionable and digestible data to work from. Um, if the OER for three out of four properties is you know, 39 to 41%, that's great. Why is property C 63%? You know, uh, that, that's a cause for investigation, so something's wrong. Um, maybe on further examination, uh, you see that the utility bills for property C is above average um, uh, based on the number of units in that property, so you investigate. Maybe there's a leaking pipe in property C that's causing uh, above average water bill. Um, you know, you can have a, a plumber come in and fix that and there's a crisis averted. Um, so after updating your utility bill, after you find a problem, um, a month later, you notice that property C's OER is now 25% less. So um, calculating OER on a regular basis using uh, specific expenses, Ideally, monthly um, can help you help you narrow down the reason uh, for the rise in in the OER and uh, can help you get expenses back under control um, and ultimately creating a more profitable, sustainable rental business. So now let's take a look at Chris's OER uh, to make sure his ratio is healthy. Great, thank you, Brad. I did uh, before I get in that I saw a chat that there was no audio for me. Can you hear me, Brad? By any chance, everybody. Hear me? I can, yeah. Okay, great. So let me jump back into Chris's portfolio. So the OER is not explicitly laid out in his dashboard, um, but again, I could show you how to find the figures to make the calculation. Um, up top on the dashboard, we have the income laid out. Again, you can toggle between monthly or annually. As Brad mentioned, monthly is always great, um, but keep in mind that these are pro forma figures. Um, next, I actually get to the expenses. Um, a quick shortcut is clicking on the photo down here. And we scroll down a bit to his monthly expenses card for that specific property. Um, so there's three columns here. Um, we have the actual trailing 12 months um, or the actual May or the pro forma figures. Um, the actuals will pull the actual transaction data. Um, it is one month behind as we're in June, the month isn't over. In July, this will update. Um, but here you could pull all the expenses along with the income figure from the dashboard and you could figure out your OER.